Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome back. It's Mike with Unique Mechanics for another Invicta review. Today I am showcasing the uh, 16970 Invicta Hydromax Reserve with the uh, silver dial and the blue bezel. When I'm looking at this watch, I say wow, I say unique, I say out of the ordinary, I say super thick, I even brought a ruler just to show you and just to see for myself how thick this thing really is. Now I know this is a 52 millimeter case diameter from side to side. Uh, the crown isn't pushed out so far, but it's fairly out there. Uh, the watch is definitely very, very heavy. I wish I had a scale on hand to really get a grasp of how heavy this watch is. This is uh, a, a GMT function as well with a uh, date at the, at the three o'clock. It does have a unidirectional bezel, so that's very nice. Uh, as well as the uh, <clears throat> Hydromax uh, skull with the uh, sombrero guy. I always love that guy. That guy's great. Nice little addition. Uh, really cool little character to put on a watch. I like that. It's really interesting. I don't know the concept between why it's so thick or why the glass is so thick. I mean, obviously, I, I, I grasp the fact that it's a 1,000 meter underwater pressure watch, which is actually 3,300 feet approximately of underwater pressure and this is a very tailored diver watch um, so that could be one of the biggest reasons why the glass is so thick why the case is so thick but Invicta's made plenty of watches that are 1000 meter of underwater pressure such as a lot of the Venoms the casing is not this thick as well as the dial uh, I mean uh, yeah the dial the actual sapphire crystal is not so thick now uh, what else do I have to say about this? It's got uh, almost a, the, the deployment clasp as well as the uh, foldover clasp. So it's really interesting when they incorporate, incorporate both of them uh, in together. And I'll give you an up close view in just a little bit to show you a little detail about that. Uh, first, let me show you what this watch looks like on my wrist. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. As you can see, this thing is large. It's big and it's thick. It's amazing. That sounded funny, but it's actually huge on me and on my wrist. Let me actually take out my uh, my ruler here and see in millimeters how high it actually goes. Uh, it's actually about two millimeters thick, which is pretty pretty thick. Um, it's incredible. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Uh, I don't know any other watch company that actually makes anything like this. It's actually a little over two millimeters. Is incredible nobody else has designed nobody else's uh, you know their ingenuity or even taking a chance on something like this and it, it's actually really popular a lot of people like it it's uh, not exactly what I'm looking for in a watch but a lot of the bigger guys when they wear a regular size watch it actually looks like a girl's watch it looks like a little bracelet on, on certain size men so I think you know obviously the oversized category is tailored to larger individuals as well as smaller individuals that enjoy a large heavy wrist uh, heavy watch on their wrist and I'm totally cool with that I think there should be a category for the you know the the, the you know the, the big and tall type of deal where you know everything's tailored to the individual and that's great there should be definitely a category for that so again we have the uh, Hydromax 16970 in Victor Reserve with a with a large large case 52 millimeter casing of 1,000 uh, meters of underwater pressure. Again, one last time, what it looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist. Let me show you if you can actually see that, how thick that is. I don't know if it's gonna catch it or do well to hide behind it. Can you guys see how thick that is on there? Incredible. Really, really is incredible. All right, so let me guys, uh, let me give you guys an up close look and uh, show you some more details of this watch. All right, well, thanks for viewing, guys. If you made it this far, please give me the thumbs up. Make sure you share these videos on your Facebook, on your Google Plus, on your Twitter, or anywhere else that you're currently doing social media. Let everyone see how great these videos are. I put a lot of time into these, and I hope you're enjoying them. And um, you know, stay tuned for more. Talk to you guys soon. Bye bye. Alright guys, so here it is, the Invicta Hydromax Reserve GMT model with the silver dial, stainless steel case, and the blue unidirectional bezel. 
as you can see as I mentioned to you this watch is pretty heavy it's pretty thick and it's pretty large with a 52 millimeter case diameter pretty large watch um, I have a seven and a half inch wrist and you guys saw what it looked like on my wrist it's not enormous but it is so for the guy that loves Invicta this is just another day another watch another piece of the collection uh, as you can see we have the um, the hour hand minute hand as well as the GMT hand very cool very uh, almost like a darky sky uh, uh, arrow there for the GMT we also have the date right at the three o'clock very cool there's the uh, screw down crown right there with the Invicta emblem this is the uh, the, the clasp that I was talking about as you can see the pushers right here which is almost like a deployment clasp in a sense and as well as the uh, the uh, fold over clasp right there so it's got two you can't really see uh, maybe I'll give you a little bit there you go there's a scroll and it says Hydromax right there right on the clasp and there it is there's the uh, there's the skull with the sombrero and it says Hydromax on the case back I love that I love the ridges all around I love the bold lettering very cool a lot of great unique designs that are put into this and I give Invicta a ton of credit. Look at that glass. Look how thick that glass is. Let me go slow and just show you guys how thick that glass is above the bezel. Incredible. There you are. The Invicta Hydromax GMT.